Man, I heard what Jay Hood said on Mount Papa, but he broke silence. Yeah, it been 20 years, Styles, but nigga, yeah, it's still on his chest. And he said it with his chest, nigga. He feel like y'all played him. He feel like y'all played him. And, you know, Styles said what he said. You know, y'all go look at that. Matt Hoffa, you know, look at Styles shit. He responded. But this is what Jay Hood didn't understand. Like, Jay, he kind of burned the wrong bridge. Yeah, Jay, because, you know, yeah, you dragged the D-block chain. You was supposed to come to the G unit and... It didn't work out. It was asking for too much for you. The nigga ain't really finna pay no million dollars. Like, you won't worth a million dollars, but it in your pocket. Oh, yeah, see, you see, you gotta be smart business when it come to 50. Like, it can't be no outrageous shit. Like, they ain't trying to get the get back that bad. <laughs> they can't get J Hood no million. They ain't worth a million with it in his pocket. So, why can't you? Nah, he ain't getting that. And she knew that. So, um,. That's why he went that high. Come on, man. But somebody will give him a million. Y'all would have been dropped that album if he worth a million. So you mean to tell me y'all got an artist that's worth a million dollars and y'all ain't dropped no album from him? He just doing mixtapes? Which was best for him? J Hood. You from with the bag. You from with the bag. Because you thought that you was bigger than a brand, but you ain't understand. There was deep block fans. It was D-Block fans. It wasn't J-Hood fans. They didn't stick with you. They was only rocking with you because of Sheik, Styles, and Jada. That's the only reason why you got the approval for these different DJs and these different labels and radio stations. They didn't like you. They never felt your style. They were just showing respect to Styles and Jada and Sheik. See, J-Hood, what happened with you? You could blame it on the 60 G's and he owed me this and they ain't did this, and, but really, you ran out of patience. You ain't had no more patience. So, like, now nah, you, you flip, and you would have stayed down a couple more years. The rap game had changed, and you had the wrong goals. You was in it for the fame, for the albums, instead of the money, instead of the loyalty. You was in it for the look. And it flipped on you. It flipped on you. You would have stayed down as the rap game changed. You'd have been straight. You'd have been way richer. Way, come on, man. You know how many songs you would have been on? How many, man, the internet now? Your buzz? How many shows? Features? Like, you'd have been rich. You know what I'm saying? You, at least a million. At least 800,000. I'm telling you, man. At least that. Like, come on, man. With all the jewelry and the cars. Because the rap game had changed. You think an album and let me do this, but you could have just stayed down. That was your buzz. Deep block. You had way more motion. You wasn't ready to go on your own. You wasn't ready. You wasn't ready to drop no album. It took a long time, but you wasn't really ready. Because look at you. You left and you went down. As you dragged that D-block chain to the ground, you went right with it. You went right with it. Probably even lower. Yeah, matter of fact, way lower. You was dragging your money. You was dragging your fame. When you dragged that D-block chain, you was dragging your fame and money. Your status. And you disrespect that. And you didn't know you were disrespecting your whole shit. You was destroying your whole movement. Your whole image. Everything. It went away. Now you understand. But. What you supposed to do like. You ain't got really that much. You know. Entertainment in your career. Like you ain't really. Your career is D-Block. So you got to keep bringing up D-Block. You got to. It's the highlight of your career. Without that, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing to talk about. They got to sell. They got to sell the interview. They spend money. They got to make that back. They got to put the lock styles, all that there. So they got to bait you up. And you got to fall for it and say it. And yeah. So, nah, it's business. See, that's another thing. Like, with the bloggers, like, 
when you make a friend with these rappers and these celebrities, they want you to be all the way with them. So any little issue or beef or whatever they got, they're going to want you to follow behind that, especially if you ain't been rocking with them. I mean, like the, the ops, like you ain't been rocking with them. You just know him, and he know that you don't know them. And you still down, so he wants you to rock with them or call them or check in with them and all that stuff. Not knowing you running the business. Y'all friends, but nah, I still, I run my business first, so I gotta interview him. I ain't picking no sides. Like, I ain't, nah, when you doing that, like, ain't that type of relationship. Like, I ain't in that. Like, nah, I might as well be, if I'm gonna do it like that, I might as well be under your game. Now, you do got some podcasts or some. You know, uh, 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 bloggers that's gonna be loyal to you like that. They're gonna rock with you. They're gonna, but not all of them. They ain't got, they can be straight business. They ain't picking and choosing, but you do got some that's gonna, they're gonna ride with you. Like, yeah, I'm with you. I'm gonna be loyal to the niggas that rock with me, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga be like that. And then there's still gonna be some picking and choosing with that. So, I mean, Styles, he wrong with that. Like, going that mouth. Like, there ain't no reason. Like, he doing his job. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't owe no. Nigga ain't really gotta call you or do all that what you saying or you get mad. You can feel some type of way, but come on, man, it's his job. So you did what it is. Like if he don't do it, the next blogger gonna do it. So yeah, yeah, what it is. Like so, Styles, he could be. Now you could be right on the J Hood, but on that, on the math shit, you wrong. But it's okay. It's okay. You had to get off your chest like a man, and you did that. So it is what it is. So ain't no love loss. So you know it's business. It's business first. It's business. We ain't coming here. We ain't coming to game friends first. Like nah, it's business first. I met you through this. Y'all wasn't rocking with me like that before. Like nah. So we're gonna keep it. Yeah, we can keep it business first. You know, uh, ain't like he just straight just just bashing you and now nah, he just said what he said you said what you said you can come on come on back on the platform and speak your piece you know what it is what it is so when you bloggers when you whatever like it be rappers whatever you no know, it can be mutual friends you know you gotta be careful like niggas want you to be loyal niggas want you to ride like or you could be like nah I ain't no friends straight business <laughs> I'm gonna interview anybody whatever I'm trying to eat eat I ain't trying to be all that buddy, buddy, buddy. Nah, I'm trying to eat, eat. Yeah, because you need me anyway. So I'm trying to eat, eat, run the thing, man. I'm trying to get the end, man. Y'all niggas already sacked up, caked up. You know what I'm saying? Fanged up. <laughs> Can I eat, eat? Can I get my money, bro? Then, when I'm 10 years in the game, whatever, whatever. Then we can, yeah, do the relationship thing. But nah, you know, I'm just coming in the thing. I need all mine. Just don't try to get yeah, a shortcut. You got beef with 30 motherfuckers. Nah, I got to follow that. Nah, we ain't doing none of that. So it just depends on what lane you want to take. It's money in all of them, though. It's money, but it just depends what you want, where you want to be, where you trying to go, when you podcasting or whatever, or a rap or whatever. So life about choices. You got to make that the when it come with that. But podcast, stick to that. You can chill with the rapper shit. Like, nigga, ain't really trying to hear all that rapper shit. You can chill with that. But you still want to rap because you, you J Hood. You got some fans pumping you up. But I'm telling you, nah, stick with the blogger and go from there. Switch it up. You ain't got to keep rapping and all that. But, you know, you can't tell a nigga what to do. But I'm telling you, it ain't helping. I'm saying, it ain't helping. That's what it is, man. Like, yeah, J Hood, he fumbled the bag. Like, he ran out of patience. But I can't blame him. I can't blame him. Like, could have stayed down and been, yeah, that nigga. He, yeah, he would have been that though. But he made his decision and he left and he did that. He got to stay over there. The locks, they still rolling. You know, they getting their money from this angle, that angle. And now he got to do it the blog away but it's still some money and yeah gotta stick to it